Now after some prapti, um, I'll explain the stages or avasthas of Udara. So it, it has been told that all the Udaras at the end stage, uh, it ends up with uh, Jal Udara or excess fluid accumulation. So that process of manifestation is been divided into three stages or three avasthas. That is the first stage is Ajata Udaga. Ajata Udaga means, Jata means origin uh, where the fluid uh, accumulation has not been started, that is Ajata Udaga Avastha. Then Pichha Utpatti Avastha, Pichha is something slimy, so some kind of slimy fluids has start uh, accumulating, started accumulating, that is Pichha Utpatti Avastha. And the next stage, or the final stage is Jata Udaga, Jata means originated. So uh, there the fluid collection has completely manifested, so see, these are the three Avasthas of all types of udaras. So any type of udara, initially there may not be fluid collection. Then fluid collection starts uh, manifesting and then it becomes complete if neglected in uh, each stages. So in Ajada Udaga Avastha, it is recently developed or new. So there have been no complications or less Upatravas and it is the time when it should be treated. So that should be treated at the earliest. So otherwise, it leads to the uh, accumulation of fluids. That is the next stage. That is Pichyotpati Avastha. Then Pichyotpati Avastha is the early stage of accumulation. There the fluid starts accumulation and it shows few Vedras. Uh, then Jatavadaga, if even that stage it is neglected, it finally turns into Jatavadaga or a complete manifestation of Udaga or accumulation of fluid along with all the Patravas. So these are the avasthas of Udara and we can uh, see that the lakshanas of Ajata Udaga and Pichha Udaga can be considered along with the Samanya Udara lakshanas which I will be explaining after few slides. Now let's explain the symptoms of Ajata Udaga lakshana or the avastha when there is no fluid accumulation has started. So Vapada has mentioned Sarvam tu Atoyam, so where Atoyam? Toya or water has not been manifested. Arunam Ashofam na Atibhariga means Aruna Varna or that bish appearance with no edema, Ashofam and na Atibhariga, no heaviness. Gavakshidam Sirajala, there will be networks of veins the, uh, as the veins will get due to the uh, rising abdominal pressure and obstruction, the veins will uh, start to get engorged and uh, there is a network of veins with small gaps like holes in roof. There's Gavakshita Sirajale. There's a network of veins. So Gavakshita means there'll be small gaps between that networks. We can find small gaps between that networks just like holes in the roof of palm leaf. Imagine a palm leaf roof having a small hole in between, small gaps in between through which the sunlight enters. So just like that between the network of veins there will be small gaps. Nabhi mantram cha vishtabhya vekam krutva pranashyadi. The vayu, maruto, the vayu, it is in this prakopavasta, it moves around violently in the abdomen and making many kinds of uh, sounds. Also, vegam krutva, it makes a person feel of his natural urges, but uh, it subsides again. He will not be able to pass it but he will get the feeling due to the movement of Vayu and also it produces pain Hrut, Kati, Nabi, Payu, Vankshana, Vedana in many areas like Hrut, Kati, Nabi, Payu, Vankshana areas and Sashapto, Nishcharet, Vayu and it moves around with sound and with Badha there is constipation and Oliguria or Alpa Mutrada this is decreased urine output and then Naati Mando uh, Anilo. Then Agnimandya is slight. Since it is the beginning, there is no severe Agnimandya and the person will have slight desire for food. That is Laulyam, Nacha. This excess desire will not be there, it will be slight desire for food. Syad Virasa Mukam, distaste of uh, mouth. Now, uh, the distaste will, not, uh, will be mild. So the next is Pichha Udaga Avastha. So that's the next stage on neglection of the first stage. Upekshaya, that is uh, what I started with that one, Upekshaya. That is one neglection of the first stage. 
what happens is that sarveshu dosha swasthana sthita all the dosha the sampapti starts manifesting all the uh, uh, dosha uh, leaves its own sthana swasthana sthita leaves its own sthana and it start accumulating or mixing along with the kleda uh, of the uh, jala jaliya dhatus in the sharira uh, due to the ongoing dhatu pakas dhatu paka is happening so all the dhatus are getting liquefied and all, also all the doshas attains the dravikarana along with the dhatus so paka drava dravi kuriyu santi srodo mukhanyapi also the dravikarana it occurs in the srodo mukhas and the santi so the join, joining places of srodos and uh, even the srodos are made of dhatus itself it's a tissue itself so the srodos and the santi all attains dravikarana so since the dhatu satain dhatu satining dravikarana in general the srotas and the sandhis associated with those areas also get included in the dravikarana uh, and uh, even sveda svedascha bahya srotasu vihita tiriya astida svedascha bahya srotasu vihita so in the bahya srotas obstructed the sveda joins along with these uh, drava dhatus and totally the volume increases a volume increases and it gets to margamana as told in sampatti and the accumulation of slimy fluid in the uh, tok mamsantra it starts happening the accumulation of a pichcha tadeva mudagam apyaya pichchan kuriyat tadava ved pichcha roopa or pichila slimy saliva like tadeva mudagam apyaya fluid it starts accumulation and on accumulation in that stage there will be mild distension of abdomen and uh, it shows heavy abdomen it's round it start getting round and uh, guru udaram stiram vrittam ahatam chana shabdavat ahatam na shabdavat means uh, that is the uh, percussion as you explained earlier percussion on percussion of the stomach usually it should be uh, tympanic sound or it is resonant generally of the abdomen but here since the fluid has collected it is dull that is ahatam chana shabdavat Rajaraja has directly mentioned the inspection or percussion of examination of abdomen. Ahatam chana shabdavat dal on percussion. Also mrudu vipeta raji becomes soft. Vipeta raji gum and uh, loss of wrinkles. The wrinkles uh, in the abdomen is lost. Nabhyam sprishtam cha sarpadi and the shape increases and it spreads the uh, abdomen spreads around. Uh, uh, if that picture that I was saw again in that condition, if proper treatment is not given, then uh, the complete manifestation of uh, fluid accumulation occurs. That is jada udaga astha. That is tadan udagam janma. Tadan udaga janma. So accumulation of uh, fluid. It is completely manifested. Asmin kukshi vruti. There is highly distension abdomen. Tadu udagam highly distension abdomen. Sira andar thanam. all the veins and striations which disappears due to the abdomen skin getting stretched or enlarged jatha raktam cha lakshana all the lakshanas of jala udara is seen so these are the three avasthas of jala udara or any udara or any kind of udara any kind of udara initially it is in the ajata avastha udaga avastha and then if not treated it attains the pichcha udaga avastha and still if it's neglected it get into the complicated jala udara avastha or the jata udaga avastha i'll continue with the purva roopa of uh, udara acharya varpada has mentioned uh, shunnasho annam chirat sarvam samvidaham cha pachire so he started with the ongoing mandagni and uh, shutnasha uh, to do mandagni that is shutnasha is loss of appetite annam chirat sarvam samvidaham pachire it's improper digestion and uh, late digestion chirat also jirna jirnam na janadi saudyam sahadena cha jirna jirnam na janadi that is improper perception of digestion that is person cannot Um, perceive that uh, digestion uh, is proper or not. Sahvityam sahadena cha. He cannot tolerate when the abdomen gets full. 
Then Kshiyate Baladaha Shashwat. Then so sudden weakness starts manifestating. Then Shashwati uh, Alpebi Cheshti. Disney on mild exertion. Alpebi Cheshta, there is Shwasa. That is Disney on mild exertion. It includes involvement of Pranavaha Shrotis. And Vrithir Visho. There is increased stools in the body. But it is not expelled out. Apravartisya. There is constipation and it is not expelled out. That is the vitiation of Apanavayu. Then Kinchit Shofascha Padaya. Shofa means edema. Edema is the accumulation of fluids. That is the ongoing pathology. Indicating the ongoing pathology of uh, accumulation of fluids in the Sajira. Or the um, fluids getting Vimargagamna. And starts localizing in between the Thwak and Mamsa. That is... Uh, shofa, manifestation of Shofa in Sharira, it indicates fairly happening. Uh, then Rukh, Basti Sandha, and all the uh, places near the Vasti and bladder, there will be pain. Tadada, Lekhu, Alpa Bhojane Rabi, Tadada means uh, the feeling of fullness, even on light or little food. Raji Janma, Vali Nashe. Uh, the abdomen slightly starts increasing in size and it shows some striations due to the stretching of skin and the valley natural wrinkles uh, present on the abdomen will be lost due to the stretching now we come to the summon elections of uh, udara is according to ashtanga they are ten artaha the person who is suffering from udara uh, have shushka talu ashta that is dryness of palate and the lips then Shuna Pada Kara Udara. Shunata is edema. Edema in Pada Kara and Udara. This is the limbs, upper limb, lower limb, and the abdomen Udara. Nashta Cheshta. It will be weak and uh, the inability to move body parts. Nashta Bala. Again, weakness, strength. Loss of strength is there. Ahara. Nashta Ahara. There is loss of appetite. Okay. Krisha. Emaciation. Then Pratmada Kukshaya. That is distension. Siu Preta Rupa Purusha. Pratarupa means due to this uh, peculiar characteristic state of Shuna Pada Karavadara, that is the uh, edema in the limbs and abdomen and uh, um, generally emaciated body with a distended abdomen. This makes him look like a Pratarupa or ghostly appearance. Uh, Jethare Shutu, Sarvesha, Tandra, and the um, ongoing. Malasanchaya and the pathology, it uh, slowly uh, increases the weakness. Then Sadhanam, uh, Malasango, there is constipation. Alpa Vanyada, there is Mandagni goes on increasing. Agni Nasha is goes on increasing. Agni Tushti is ongoing. Daha, burning sensation. Shwayasu, there is edema. And Atmana Mante, Salila Sambhava, there is distension of abdomen. And Ante, at the end, the water, the fluid, it starts accumulation completely now according to charaka kukshay ratmanam atopam shofa pada karasya cha mando agni slakshna gandatvam karshyam cha udara lakshanam um, so he has mentioned kukshay ratmanam there is distinction of abdomen atopam there is gurgling uh, sounds atopam gudgudayanam that is uh, peristaltic movement sounds of uh, from the abdomen Shofa, edema, pada karasicha in the limbs, then mando agni, ongoing agni dushti, slakshna gandatum, the ganda means cheek, there is a soft and shining cheek that is indicating accumulation of edematous fluid, slakshna gandatum, that makes the skin shiny, karshyam, cha udara lakshnam, and emaciation, these are the lakshnas of udara. And again, Susruta has explained, Atmanam Gamane Ashaktim. Uh, it's distension and uh, inability to move, a loss of strength, the Urbalim Durbalagni, and uh, Mandakni. Then Shodha, Edima, Sadhana Manganam, weakness of uh, or inability to do proper functions of body parts. Sangha Vada Purishayo, there is uh, constipation. Dahas Tandra, again uh, burning sensation and weakness, Sarveshu, Jatareshu, Bhavandi, in all Jatara, these are the common lakshanas that are seen. Now we will go through the Vishta lakshanas or Dosha Jalakshanas, Vatika Udara. Tatra Vata Udare, Shodha, Pani, 
Nabi Kukshishu Kukshi Parshodara Kati Prashtaruk Parma Bedanam. There is Shodha Edima of the hands, then um, pain, uh, sorry, Edima in the feet, umbilicus and lower abdomen. Pani Pai Nabi Pani Pada Nabi and Kukshi Pradesha. Then Udara Kati Prashtaruk and pain uh, in the abdomen. Flanks, waist, back joints, parva bhedanam in the joints also. Shushka kasa, that is dry cuff, anga mardha, that is body pain, atha gurda, feeling of heaviness in the lower parts, and constipation. Then shava arunatvagadi, due to the uh, influence of vata, the varna, varna bheda is shava aruna, uh, varna fortvak, etc. Uh, akasmat vritti hasa, hasa of, uh, and toda of udaram. That is the, uh, the abdomen increases in uh, uh, size or decreases in size without any apparent reason. Then uh, there will be toda bheda, kicking another type of breaking type of pain in the abdomen. Uh, again, tanu krishna siratatam, appearance of thin black network of veins. Then atmada dhridivat shabda ahadam pragarodicha, atmada dhridivat shabda, dhriti is bladder. So, Atmada Dhriti is distended bladder. When the bladder is distended uh, and we are uh, uh, percussing on it, we, we get the similar. The Atmada Dhritivats. It is the similar sound. That is a resonant sound. Ahatam Prakarodicha. Ahatam is percussion. Prakarodicha. So, there is highly resonant sound on uh, percussing the Atmada Dhritivat Udara. Vaish Chatra Saruk Shabdo Vicharet Sarvato Gadi and Vayu moves inside with the gurgling noise and pain inside the abdomen. Rabdu the Pitta Jodara Pitta Dre Joro Murcha Daha Strit Katukasya Da Fever Murcha Giddiness or Fainting Daha Burning Sensation Trit Trishna Thirst Katukasya Da Bitter Taste in the Mouth Brahma Giddiness Atisara Pidatum uh, Togaod Udaram. There is a lot of discoloration of the skin, etc. Then Pida Tamra Siranatham. The network of veins, uh, usually present in the, over the abdomen, will be green, yellow, or red in the color. Sasvedam. There is perspiration. Even though in generally in uh, Udara Samprati, sweat is obstructed, but here is in Pitta, it's Vishesha that Sveda might be present. Sa Oshma, heat, feeling of heat is there and the here they burning, feeling of burning and fuming is present. Thumayate, fuming uh, uh, feeling. Mridus Parsham, abdomen is soft to touch and Shipra Pagam, it is quickly progressive when it attains Paga, the Dhatus attains Paga quickly in Pitaja Udara. Next is Sleshma Udara or Kafaja Udara. Sleshma Udara, Anga Sadhanam. There is loss of activity. Yes. Anga sadhanam swapa. There is uh, numbness and shwaithu as edema, gaura, heaviness of body parts. Uh, then nidra utklesha. Nidra, too much of sleep. Utklesha, nausea, aruchi. There is loss of appetite. Shwasa kasa, shuklatvaka, difficulty in breathing. Cuff will be present. Shuklatvaka, a whitish appearance of skin and abdomen. Etc. Udram Simidam, there is tense abdomen. Snigtham is soft and having white striae. Shukla Rajitam, white striae as a present. Uh, Mahat, large in size. Chira Bivritim, increasing slowly. Chira means takes time, no? So increase slowly. It takes a time to attain size. Cutinite is hard and cold. Shita Sparsha to touch. Guru is heavy and theorem is without any movement. Next is the uh, Sannipada Jodhara or Tridosha Jodhara. It is also called as Dushi Jodhara. Um, here, a peculiar kind of Nidhanas have been mentioned for uh, manifestation of Dushi Jodhara. That is Triyo Annabhanam Nakha Loma Mutra Vid Arthavai Yukta Asadhu Vritta. That is wicked woman. Uh, which uh, who gives harmful substances along with food containing nakaloma etc nail hairs urine feces mixed with menstrual blood etc and these were common in olden times uh, 
so giving uh, to the king or the important persons or uh, they will be poisoning the person slowly by administering such things so in those times this were common uh, and uh, garavisha this is a garavisha kind of garavisha and dushtambu polluted water were given dushi visha slow poisons all these kinds of uh, materials if given in, in if given to persons what happens is that tena ashu raktam kupidascha it uh, it tends to it vishesha doshas and which vishesha the rakta importantly kuriyus sukoram jataram trilingam produces a severe form of the rava having the symptoms of all the three doshas together uh, the peculiarity is that the chita vate prasha durdine cha visheshana kupyadi dahyate cha the condition exacerbates or increases the lakshana increases on days of cold chita vate then durdine or cast cloud means cloudy days or cold uh, days cold breeze the symptoms increased kupyadi dahyate the patient feels severe burning sensation from inside daha and faints frequently sachaturo muhyadi moha means faints frequently he pasattam pandu since the rakta becomes uh, increased quality it is pandu is manifested as pale uh, krisha there is emaciation and suffers from shushyadi trishnya as a severe thirst so this condition is called as dushodara or the sannipadaja udara